Hey guys, Martin and Twin Treasure Pink SP once again. Today, you see me building a Mercury Atlas. Oh, quite not that one. I'm just, I have a picture of an Atlas in front of me and I'm working with that. And procedural liquid fuel. Let's back a bit. I'm not grey side, not complete. There we go. We've got a lot. Don't want that much. I love how it looks as if I got it from just the right angle, then it looks like the fairing disappeared. Let's bring that down a bit. Yep. And then we take another one of these. Oh. Smooth cone, yes, that's what we want. Maybe you don't want Atlas. Yeah, no, it's still top. And bottom, maybe. Okay, now this is where the tricky. B Actually, I think I just said that's a normal cone. No. It's under just cone. Because it looks better than the smooth cone. No. <laughs> Top zero zero. Now, the reason I'm saying that this bit might be difficult. I'll bring up the data V stats. Yeah, okay, that the coupling is. Alright. No, wait, actually, no. It's just in the correct order. Good. Now, we drop an LVT45 on here. No, I'm, I'm for, no, we have to use the swivel. Swivel, swivel, swivel. Yes. Now, for the very, very, very tricky bit. I'm... <laughs> the only idea I have of doing this, for those of you who are familiar with the Atlas, I'm... I'm trying to make the stage and a half design. It's not the easiest thing to do. Oh, good grief. No. Here. And of course, we want two of them, so we have two engines. And then... And could use procedural structural element. I'm pretty sure you can set that up to be the right shape. Cone, yes, that is what we want. Texture, not white side, not a blade of I guess Atlas. No top. Actually, never mind. No, we're just sticking to one of the stock things. It because it shall be easier. All right, that would be in aerodynamics, wouldn't it? Hmm. Procedure, how you did. Um. Tail connector type B. And then we want that. We will offset it, but that will not be a problem. Just disable angle snap and down and in and down. Yeah, not much to do. <laughs> Maybe a bit up. 
Wait, hold on. I'm, I will try this, however. I want the engines, and we're just gonna put the sv the swivel on the LVT30, and a pair of LVT30s. And you want all of those to fire simultaneously. Hmm, the vessel must do the same. I don't really know. Offset a bit more. Offset up. I'm going to structure and I activate and snap in place. And so we'll just start attaching these structural panels. Oh, good grief. Yep, there we go. We'll mark the mess around with the rotation tool. Yeah, I can, I can work with that. <laughs> that is good enough for me. Alright, I'm gonna snap off. I guess that'll work. So, those fire, and those decouple, on Lodge. There we go. Now we'll just activate. Oh, right, yeah, that's a problem. Yeah, rotate vehicle assembly. Whoops. Okay, then, now. On the fuel tanks, because I believe that is where they store the fuel lines. <laughs> Whoops, I did it again. Now. X, we do want two of them. Let me just touch the base of these here. Save launch. Let's see. Let's see once we ignite the engines. Will it take off? And then. Still not enough thrust. Well, at least the abort mechanism works. Ha 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 ha! Well, this about this. Yep. Hey, yep. Hold on. Well, we won't have an issue with burn time. That's for sure. This is just. Funny seeing that thing burning and not getting off the ground. We shall call it a static fire. Oh! And she's gone! Goodbye! Quick, get in the flame, get in the flame. Get under it, get under it. Okay, just. And she's gone. <laughs> yeah, that's hilarious. Go back to the vehicle somewhere though. So my solution to the problem is take Z off and then if I can find the right engine. Yes. Arrow spikes for everybody. I'm pretty sure we will get off the ground that well, that one. <laughs> well, you know, no castle. That's a SpaceX engine, if you're wondering. Now, oh, it's some SRBs. <laughs> now let's take that. Yeah, actually, yeah, that can work. Uh, that actually does not look that bad. No. However, we will scale it down a bit and offset. Smooth offset and smooth offset, like so. There we go. And now let's add some ferniers. Only we do only want just two times symmetry. 
and fuel lines. Fuel lines are also important. Oh, you just add Nargus. A solution to all of life's problems. Okay, now let's just fire straight into the the thing we don't want it firing into, basically. So, takes that fuel line on the touch there. Save. Wait, hold on. No, 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 no. We want all of these engines to fire at the same time. Launch. Right then. It does, in theory, have the required delta V to get into orbit. So, engage and fire. Right then. Aboard. Right then. That didn't quite go to that didn't go as planned. But I think I do I definitely know what happened there. Hold on actually, can I do this? Can I legitimately do that? It doesn't matter where they are. There we go. Let's see how this will let's see how this will go down. Yeah, let's see. Where is it? Let's see, did it despawn or something? Nope, it's here. You just can't see it. Poof. Well then. So that that's gone flying. Revert to vehicle assembly. And as oh good god no just just slightly we don't yeah that's not good that's a sneak's good certainly scale well actually no never mind just uh, control Z so the best idea is raise it above it because then. There we go. Now let's try it. Also, add the Atlas lunch glimpse. Because those are a thing that come with FASA. Yeah, that's better. And let's bring this down. Alright, we need to time it right. I um, went to the couple lows. Lord. Right, there we go. Go for 80 and then engage. Also, have those the couple there. 3, 2, 1. Boost. Yes, the Fontaine Gene exhausts. Yeah, that's. That is still slightly absurd, but. Meh. But you can see they are doing their job. And we are accelerating. However, Biko will be a much sensor boost on engine got off. Will be a pain. I'm pretty sure those bits will explode. So just just to be safe. Ignore max damage. Not ignore no crash damage and break of joints. It is unsafe to deploy parachute to where through the clouds. Getting the mach effects. I'm going to try to hold on to those for as long as I can. Oh, there you go. Look at that engine expand. Look at that plume expansion. Not the engine expansion. The engine does expand, but not quite that much. Bring up orbit info. Of 
because we're going to use that sustainer engine, that's what it's called, to push us into orbit. They are good. They are good. Now, engine burn 60. Better do the couple. The couple. I'm flying on just a sustainer. And it's gone. <laughs> Zero moment ago, but now it's gone. And I'm gone. I can see the fuel lines there. Mm -hmm. It's doing it also hopefully today we'll have launch of STS9. Oh oh it's actually maintaining it, that's good. So FMRS can be closed. Also, once again just for safety reasons, I can ignore that. See, we're just going to be performing maybe some slight boosts like that. So then we'll. How much? More than enough! We could go to the moon with this thing! Seriously! Or we could probably do flyback as well. I should have just put a thing on this and that just thought maybe. Oh, they're sharing the fuel loads up. They're sharing the fuel consumption, it seems. Because otherwise, that wouldn't, make, that wouldn't make any sense. But it's a long. It's a long burn. What I can tell you. Yeah, the Jude Graf. Autopilot software not in Mac Jeb, maybe. Oh, that's. Yep, that's good for me. I don't know what EAS actually means, but. And because we have no landing, we don't need to worry about that. And then we'll ditch that, and we'll stay in orbit for a few orbits. And then retro burn. Retro burn. Retro burn. There we go. And there we go. Now. There we go. So we decoupled the mercury capsule. Also, oh yeah, well, I think that should still be enough. Now let's focus. Look at it. Look at it. What's that? Let's see what is that? Oh, that was. The I'm not sure if that's the actual Astro H or if that's the upper stage of the H2. H2. <laughs> but we are below the orbit of most of my satellites. And it's night. So now we're just gonna warp. And watch as the booster flies. So, I love how it is well designed. So, for example, in some areas there's more cities than others. There's the clouds. So, we're going to complete one orbit before uh, setting up our deorbit maneuver. Hmm. 
Hmm. You know what? Forget that. I believe we may just warp until it's daytime. Well, actually, it might be best if we, for example, scheduled burn. Wait, hold on. The bad thing is, I do not. Right. That is 150 Add maneuver Maneuver node editor Prograde uh, Minus 156 Minus 156 Update Then landing guidance Show oh. That will put us a lot to. Uh, will put us not where I want to be. Well, I'm going to shift it there so I don't feel far short. There. Now, smart ASS node. So I'm not trusting Microsoft to actually execute the node. Now, warp helper. 20. Number warp. Of course, it's it's a 19 second burn, I believe. So, if we if we ignite the engine 10 minutes or te 10 minutes 10 seconds before the maneuver, we will be able to do good. We shall do good. Yep. Seriously, I'm I'm right. 19.6 seconds. Yeah, hopefully I can just stage normally. <laughs> that, okay. In my opinion, that just looks awesome. Yeah, I think I did. Oh, no. Yeah. Yeah, that's pretty good. That's just that good. Now we'll disable the smart ASS. Now surface. No, good God, no. Good, good. Uh, you good? Yeah, good. There we go, we just land in the ocean. These are the mercury caps that came in kind of spinning and you know, ballistic. Actually, so it couldn't go like the Gemini and kind of pitch itself up. Oh, good grief. Time warp does not do good for this thing. But we don't want to be flying like that. For obvious reasons, the heat shield is over here. Let's see, AVA. I think what AD actually means that does not work for some reason. Now zoom out, let's check. Well, wow, look at that shading. It's pretty neat. However, we are still yeah we are still. Yeah, we can we're slowly burning away the ablator. Ablator. Look at those guys. Look at how pixelated. Right. Over there you can see how curved Gerben is. War are you we don't need you anymore. Of course the back end of the capsules is there, the front end is there. Okay that Yes, as you can see What why is there a progress symbol over there? Oh good god, that's the re-entry sound. There we go. Now. Yeah, now we... Yeah, s -vel. What's that five or so called? Oh, that's our deorbit package. That's our retro package. That's what it's called, not deorbit package. Okay, guys, the, great, the game crashed and didn't want that to redo all of that. So I just hyperedit. 
saved once it was in orbit, so not much work. Oh, good God, that's bad. Now we have to pop the chutes. Shoots. Now slowly descend. I'm presuming we over we overtook the retro pack. Of course I had to. Edison. We press the wrong button. Wrong button. There we go, guy. I'm button 25. That was a Mercury. That was a Mercury Atlas flight. Goodbye.